Welcome ladies and gentlemen to explain to your video creator basic training hosted by yours truly Rick DJ Rico Neal of ProSlidePacks.com and today we're going to talk about uploading some fonts. Now you have to remember that you can only use the TTF or the true type fonts. You cannot use the open type. Open type fonts are the ones with the O as the icon. No, you have to use the one with the double T. The true type fonts, you have to use those kind. That's the only one that it likes. So in the next video, you will see how you can load up true type fonts and have at it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this lesson today is about importing fonts. So the EVC 101 basic training for today is import true type fonts there is a difference they have open type fonts which has the o as the icon then they had a true type font so it has the double t in the, in the f you may not be able to see the f but the, it's there uh, so explain to you will import true type fonts it will not import the open type so you're going to have to try to find the true type version of your favorite font. If you can't find that, then you might want to try one of the converters. But um, one, you cannot uh, import anything other than true type. And two, you cannot put the true type fonts right in the font folder. Because if you look in the font folder after you import, you will notice that the files in there are actually SWFs. And that's how Explaindio uses them. So you can create the type that you want, but you can't just drop TTF files in that folder. You have to import them because the import process does just that. It processes the true type fonts and creates a SWF file that is placed in the fonts folder that is within the Explaindio program folder. So what I'm going to do today is just show you how easy it is to import a font. So right here, it says import font. Okay, so let me just back up for a second so we all familiar. We are looking right now at the work canvas or the canvas area, right? So after you've created your project and then you create a scene, you're here. And so what I did was I just created three lines of text. This is a font I imported. You can tell that because it got the double dots next to it. That's the file I imported. It's got the double dots next to it. This is just the default text. See, no dots. And if you look in here, you can see that those are standard fonts. Those are some that I imported with the dots next to it. More standard and then some more I imported right there. So that's how you know they're there with the double dots. Okay, so we're gonna import one and change this one to the imported font. So we're gonna click on import font and you get the world famous dialog box. And then you come down here to the bottom where it says only TTF types or true type fonts. True type fonts. Okay, so click on browse. Now you can load more than one by doing this. You know, um, you just gotta keep loading them. So I'm gonna go in here to Gabriel because I saw this one here. It is sans uh, condensed bold. And so when you load this, you can see what it looks like. And that's, that's a decent font. So I'm going to click on open. And then I'll start the import. And then it says import complete. Now, if you want to load another one, just click browse again. And go back out. So that's the condense bold. So I want the condense bold italic. Do I? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you have a match set. Now I'll start the import. Imports complete. So let me hit browse again. Let me go get um, where's the black? Okay, there's the there's the black. That's the bolder font. So I'll bring that one as well. So I'll start the import and import is complete. Okay, so that's the Gabriel family of fonts. So let's go in here and see. And sure enough, there they are. So let's go with the condensed. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, let's go here. That's the telesized version. Here's the black. Yeah, that's the thicker one. So let's expand that out some. And yeah, it looks pretty good. So 
that's all there is to importing the fonts but just remember it says right there only TTF types are supported true type fonts not open type with the O as an icon the TTF types the true type fonts all right enjoy ladies and gentlemen <laughs>